Hi, my name is Jacob Shevitt, and I play for the Washington Rush B10 Euro team. Jacob, what have you been doing to ensure you stay motivated and continue training individually during this time period? I've been thinking of the people who play levels above me and age groups above me, and I've been thinking about how and what areas they're better than me in. So I've been, so I thought about the more I practice like those players and more consistently I practice, the better I become and the closer I become to being one of the strongest players on the field. How has um, this player development series helped you with that? Uh, it has helped me by improving my ball control, my ability to check my shoulder for pressure, and my speed and strength in the game of soccer. It has also improved my awareness and the speed I react to pressure coming at me. Do you think it has an impact in your performance on the field, both in practice and games? It improves, I think it improves my practice, my work on the field and during practice because like I said in the last, my last answer, I, I can react more quickly to pressure and I can go, I can get my skills ready so that way I can dodge around them or get a pass around. What is your favorite part of the Train at Home program? My personal favorite part of the Train at Home program is probably smarter. I loved all the questions that went with the videos that you showed us. I also liked the video choices that you put in the for the quizzes because there are a lot of really experienced players playing on really good teams in the videos. And what are your goals for the next season? My goals for the next season are to, one, try to get the ball upfield more to, so I have more chances to get the ball in the back of the net. And two, to try to practice more consistently and work on my skills in, in different areas. And three, to help my team improve behaviorally and skill-wise.